review is on the Drive HD dual dash cam by Cobra. So, so this item um, has two cameras. So this one's 1080p, and that one's 720. So um, it comes with a 20 foot cord for this one to reach to the back if you want to put it on the back window or you can put both of them on the front window. Um, so I, this is my second unit I bought, so I'm excited to have a second one. Uh, the first one, I installed it, worked great. I um, am going to uh, install it in my daughter's car, so I bought another one, same one, since I like it so much. Um, but the first one I didn't do a review on, this one, I am. So let's unbox this sucker and see all the good stuff that comes in it. All right. So, uh, like I said, it's a dual dash cam. It has two uh, cameras. Um, it has a slot for the micro SD card, which is, um, comes with 16 gigs uh, on the micro SD card that comes with it, but it holds up to 64. Uh, so I would get a 64 if I were you and um, put that to use. Uh, this one uh, box, we don't need that no more. Um, okay. All right. Instructions, but who needs that? All right, so here is the, um, the main unit. It has a split screen on, on the monitor, so I will do a complete uh, second part of this video will be the camera in action. Uh, this is really just the unboxing and the first part of the review. So um, I'll kind of uh, HDMI cable, regular power cable here, and your micro SD slot right here. And um, it slides in and out the unit, which I will show you. There's an on and off button. And so the display has uh, several different settings. It has, uh, so it'll show you part of the camera, uh, the front on one side and the back on the other one, or you can have the full screen show just the front or the full screen show just the back camera or that camera, um, or it can be turned off as a display and not have anything on there. So it is entirely up to you. Uh, it also has uh, this emergency so if you see something and you want to retain the video you can press that button here or if the car is jolted or hits a big bump or something like that it'll uh, do an emergency record what it means is as the camera keeps recording if uh, the oldest video it will record over if you don't um, have it saved or, or download it so it'll continue to loop uh, it has different settings so you can have um, the video, the file, be three, minute, three minutes, five minutes, and I think ten minutes in length. Um, so three minutes allows the video, um, the files to be recorded in three minute increments. So the oldest file, uh, if the SD card gets full, the oldest file will override and uh, you will keep going. So it will never quote unquote get full like a um, GoPro camera does. Uh, but a GoPro does does loop as well. But this one uh, loops automatically and has more settings here, which I will display and show you in, in the version or in the um, in the live demo here later on in the video. So you have your, I believe this is, your regular cable that powers this. And that sucker is... Um, I don't know how long it is. Um, yeah. That's bad of me not to know. Anyways, it is, I, I wanna say it's, I wanna say it's, uh, well here, let's figure it out. Um, undo, undo, undo. So this would just power uh, USB to this puppy here. So I'll kinda show you what it looks like. So yeah, this thing's about 10 feet. Yeah, so this cable 
roughly about 10 feet. So what I'll do, and I'll turn it on for you real quick, is I will plug it in here. And I will maybe, yep, plug it into a power source over here. And, and done. And bingo, it's ready to record, you can see. Right there, I think you can see that, right? So you can see my hand. Mm -hmm. All right. So, um, the rest of it, so this little cable here is to connect the dual cable, uh, the backup camera, or not the backup camera, the back, the other camera together. So I'll kind of show you what that does. Um, regular um, lighter plug. I have a couple of those in the car, so I don't really need that one. Um, the suction cup which is wonderful, and it connects to uh, this bad boy. So it'll slide in there like that. So you slide it in there like that, you tighten it. So it has two parts to tighten. You tighten that on there so, it's, so it doesn't slide out, see that? Oh, and the volume. So, oh, so the tighter I make it, the harder it is to slide out, this little one right here. And then this one controls the swivel. So the tighter you make that, the harder it makes to move. So then you have your little suction cup. Take that off. Suction cup it on there, has the, the clip. So suction cup it on the window and then clip it into place and then it'll hold. So very good camera in a sense that it does uh, stationed, it doesn't shake, it doesn't move. Uh, very good in that regard. Uh, so. I'll set this aside real quick and I'll pull out the rest of it. So here's your regular connection cable to your uh, PC. So if you don't have one of these already, I have some already connected to my Mac, so I don't need to undo that one. But that's what that is. And we have our um, long cable. So like I was saying, this, very long, 20 some feet. So I'll kind of show you what it does without unwinding it all. So here is the uh, plug that you would plug in. Actually, this, um, which one is it? Oh, here it is, sorry. So this is the camera, the second camera. Uh, and you take this and plug it in to the, to the female side of that. Plug it in. Now this plugs into this adapter. Voila. So now what we have is we have the camera connected to this cable. And so what this does is it plugs into All right. so the um, this oh wait I don't need that what I need is this so this goes there plugs it in there so um, what happens now is I plug this into here, and now, so here's my power cable, my very long 10 foot power cable, plugs into the small one, with the short end of this, and now this powers through this adapter, powers this, which you can see, and then powers this. So as you can see, I have two, um, oh, I think I need to turn it that way, right? I have two um, cameras on one side and then on this side. Whoa. So I could see both cameras or uh, I can change this one to a two. So now this is just the front camera. If I change it to setting three, just the back camera. And if I turn it off, 
nothing at all, right? So that is what the camera looks like. So it is powered by, again, the long plug, plugs into the little adapter that, that drives the camera here, and that powers uh, this camera. The micro SD card is already in there, 16 gigs, I believe it said. Um, yep, so uh, please reinsert SD card because there's not one there. So, bingo, and then it will recognize it, initializing, bingo, done. So now I can start recording. I can oh, reset. Okay, anyways, uh, enough about that. Um, so I can set it to auto record, I can stop the recording, I can take a picture manually, see that? I think you just heard that. Um, can you? So I can take pictures and I can actually play a video from this screen uh, if it was, yeah, the videos. So you can see the little dots, there's the pictures. But if I want to look at cameras, I can do that and hit the little plus there. It'll show me the videos that are there. So as you can see, the, the big one is the front camera video. The little one is the back camera video. So I have two videos already recorded. Just again, me goofing around here. Uh, and then I could play those videos by selecting it and hitting play. Uh, it'll tell me the size of it and those kind of things and the length and then it'll play. Uh, file error, uh, probably because there's, there's no time. Uh, because, let me hit delete, because there shouldn't be. All right, so this one's one second, so let me play it. See that? So you can see, you can play it directly from your car, your setting, um, from the file itself and the device. So you don't have to connect it to a computer to do those things. And there's the back button, and we're back to the camera and to... There we go. So uh, I'll once I install it again, I will record a quick video of how I installed it and what I use it for and how it uh, works. And I'll post a video or two, obviously, of me recording um, some craziness or who knows what. But it is very, uh, very convenient, very small, doesn't take up a lot of room and doesn't, it's not a real eyesore and doesn't take up a lot of space on the, um, on the window. So I hope you liked it. Uh, if you have any questions, like, subscribe, leave your comments below. And yeah, thanks for watching.